my name is Paul Jackson. I'm the head gardener here at Kenwood. Um, and essentially my role is to look after the living landscape. Here today we can see that the grass management is taking place and in fact what would have happened years ago uh, is they would be taking uh, a crop of hay for livestock that would have been here at Kenwood. Several days ago the, uh, the grass was cut and now it's been turned uh, and this sort of teddying uh, as uh, the farmers refer to it, the turning of the, the grass so it dries um, helps to obviously uh, get rid of the moisture within the grass but also returns the seed back into the, uh, into the ground. So here at Kenwood what we tend to do uh, is each year we will cut two-thirds of the, the fields as we see them and then we'll leave one third uncut. It's a refuge for uh, numerous uh, invertebrates that can uh, overwinter in there. Last year 2015 wasn't a great butterfly year but nonetheless there was a butterfly count of about 20 different species and I think that it has, on a good year, been up to about 26 species. So it's working, it's valuable, and it helps us uh, on our journey to, to restoration here at Kenwood. And I think the important thing to remember about Kenwood uh, is that it is actually a restoration uh, project. Uh, a restoration project that we um, certainly are halfway through, but there's lots more to do. And I guess the end objective from my perspective most definitely is to have cattle return back to this landscape. Probably only a, a handful of longhorn uh, greys that were here uh, and certainly can be seen on the Ibbotson paintings and it would be absolutely fantastic for local people, local school children being able to come and seeing that cattle are still part of that magic mix uh, that, that really is what we have going forward.